life can sometimes feel like climbing a mountain with no end in sight. The path is steep, the air grows thin, and your muscles ache with every step. But I'm here to tell you that the view from the top is worth every struggle. God has equipped you with the strength to reach heights you never thought possible. Today, we'll explore how to tap into that divine power when you feel like giving up. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, the Bible reminds us in Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This isn't just a catchy phrase. It's a promise from God himself. When you feel weak, remember that his strength is made perfect in your weakness. You're not alone in this journey. God is with you every step of the way. He's the unseen hand guiding you, the whisper of encouragement in your ear. Even when you can't see the path ahead, trust that he's already been there. He has cleared the way and is waiting to give you the strength to press on. Don't give up now. Your breakthrough might be just around the corner. Remember, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. You might feel unprepared for the challenges you face, but God sees your potential. He has equipped you with everything you need to overcome. Trust in His plan, lean on His strength, and keep moving forward. My friends, let's now talk about how God's power shines brightest when we feel that we are at our weakest. In our moments of doubt and struggle, we often forget the immense strength available to us. But it's precisely in these times that God's power can truly transform our lives. Think about the Apostle Paul, a man who faced countless hardships and setbacks. Yet, he understood a profound truth that we must grasp today. In 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10, Paul shares these powerful words. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. What an amazing perspective. Paul found strength in his weaknesses. He saw his struggles, not as obstacles, but as opportunities for God's power to shine. When we feel inadequate, that's when God's strength can truly take over. My dear friends, your weakness is not a hindrance to God's plan for your life. In fact, it's an invitation for His power to work through you in amazing ways. Don't be discouraged by your limitations or past failures. Instead, see them as chances for God to display His mighty power in your life. Remember the story of Jeremiah, a prophet who felt too young and inexperienced for his calling. But God told him in Jeremiah 1 verse 8, do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you. God doesn't need your strength. He just needs your willingness to trust Him. So today, I encourage you to embrace your weaknesses and hand them over to God. Let His strength fill you, empower you, and propel you forward. You'll be amazed at what He can accomplish through a willing heart. My friends, Let's now focus on how God's strength empowers us to overcome life's obstacles. We all face challenges that seem overwhelming at times. But with God by our side, no mountain is too high, no valley too deep. Consider the story of Deborah, 
a prophetess and judge in ancient Israel. In a time when women rarely held positions of authority, she led with courage and wisdom. Deborah faced the mighty Canaanite army, greatly outnumbered and overpowered. Yet she trusted in God's strength and led Israel to a miraculous victory. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, God gives us this powerful promise. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are just as true for us today as they were for Deborah thousands of years ago. When we face our own Canaanite armies, God is right there with us. He's not a distant observer, but an active participant in our struggles. Think about the challenges you're facing right now. It could be a challenging relationship, a health struggle, a financial setback, or something entirely different. Whatever it may be, these obstacles can feel like towering walls, impossible to break through. But with God's strength, those walls can crumble like sand. Remember the story of Lydia in the Book of Acts? She was a successful businesswoman, but her heart was restless until she found Christ. Acts 16 verse 14 tells us, The Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. Some of us may not like to hear this, but sometimes our biggest obstacle is our own closed heart. Some of us may not like to hear this, but sometimes our biggest obstacle is our own closed heart. Some of us may be too caught up in the old way of doing things, clinging to what's familiar. But what if God is trying to show you something new? Yes, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, as Hebrews 13 verse 8 reminds us. But that doesn't mean He won't give new direction or reveal a fresh perspective that you've never considered before. Remember what Jesus said in Mark 7 verse 13 making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you have handed down. Sometimes, our traditions and routines, even in faith, can block us from truly experiencing what God wants to do in our lives. Are we so attached to the old way of doing things that we miss the new work He wants to perform in us? Maybe He's calling you to a new path or revealing something beyond your comfort zone. Just because He led you one way in the past doesn't mean He won't guide you in a different direction for the future. We must remain open to the ways He works, even when they challenge our expectations or disrupt our usual routines. Are you willing to let go of what's comfortable and embrace the new that God is showing you? Remember, God has the power to open our hearts and minds to His truth. He can give us new perspectives, new strength, and new hope. My dear friends, whatever obstacle you're facing today, know that God's strength is available to you right now. All you need to do is reach out and grab hold of it. Trust in His power. Lean on His wisdom. And watch as He turns your obstacles into stepping stones. My dear friends, Let's now turn our attention to the importance of never giving up. In our darkest moments, it's tempting to throw in the towel. But I'm here to remind you that God's strength is available to help you persevere. Think about Epaphroditus, a lesser-known follower of Christ. Paul mentions him in Philippians 2 verses 25 to 30. This man, Epaphroditus, became so ill that he nearly died while serving the church. Yet, he didn't give up. He recovered and continued his mission. This reminds us of the promise in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run 
and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When you feel like you can't go on, God offers you renewed strength. He doesn't promise an easy path, but He does promise to walk with you. Your breakthrough might be just around the corner, so don't give up now. Perhaps you're facing a situation that seems hopeless. Maybe you've been praying for years with no apparent answer. I urge you, my friends, don't lose heart. God's timing is perfect, and His ways are higher than ours. Do you remember Zechariah and Elizabeth? They prayed for a child for years, well into their old age. Just when it seemed impossible, God blessed them with John the Baptist. Luke 1 verse 37 reminds us, For with God nothing will be impossible. So keep going, even when the path seems unclear. Keep praying, even when heaven seems silent. Keep trusting, even when your faith is tested. God will give you the strength to overcome every obstacle. Your perseverance is not in vain. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. Don't give up. Keep going. Your miracle may be closer than you think. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, or listen to this prayer in faith, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I glorify your holy and mighty name. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who reigns forevermore. There is none like you, O Lord, who sits high and looks low, who parts the seas and stills the storms. Your power is unshakable, your wisdom is beyond measure, and your love never fails. You are my refuge, my strong tower, my deliverer, and the lifter of my head. I worship you, Lord, for your greatness and for all that you have done in my life. You are worthy of all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for sustaining me for guiding my steps, and for your endless mercy. I thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for never leaving me, nor forsaking me, even in the toughest of times. Thank you for every blessing you have poured into my life, even the ones I may not have seen. Merciful Father, I ask for your forgiveness for all my sins, whether known or unknown. Cleanse me, Lord, from all unrighteousness, and create in me a clean heart. I also forgive those who have wronged me, just as you have forgiven me, and I release them into your hands. Lord, as I walk this path of life, I confess that there are times when I feel weary, discouraged, and tempted to give up. But I know that your word says, to press on, to not grow weary in doing good, for in due season I will reap if I do not lose heart. Strengthen me, Father, to keep going when the road is long and difficult. Help me to trust in your plan, even when I cannot see the way ahead. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that I will not give up, for you are my strength and my victory. I bind every spirit of discouragement, fear, and doubt in the name of Jesus, and I rebuke every attack of the enemy that seeks to derail me from the purpose that you have for me. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare that I am an overcomer, that I am more than a conqueror, and that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Father, 
I ask for your blessings to flow abundantly in my life. Bless me with endurance, wisdom, and courage to continue pressing forward. I ask for your healing power to touch every part of me, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Heal me from the wounds of the past, restore my body from sickness, and bring peace to my mind. I come against every attack of the enemy, whether it be illness, financial struggles, broken relationships, or emotional pain, and I declare freedom and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for your protection to surround me and my loved ones like a shield. Guard our hearts, our minds, and our bodies from the enemy's schemes and keep us safe under the shelter of your wings. Let your favor and blessings pour out upon my loved ones. Lord, as I say this prayer together, with everyone listening. I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come together in agreement, standing in faith and praying for one another, believing that you are moving mightily in our lives. We declare victory over every obstacle, over every discouragement, and over every challenge we face. In the name of Jesus, we claim healing over our bodies, peace in our minds, and strength in our spirits. Lord, let your Holy Spirit move within us, guiding us, comforting us, and empowering us to press forward. We thank you, Lord, for the breakthroughs that are coming, for the mountains that are being moved, and for the new doors that are opening. We trust in your timing and your perfect will for our lives. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.